and we have encountered some living dead. That's not good. That's not good. The enemies that I said were difficult in the poison mist? They're one level lower than this. Oh, the living dead. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, this is not gonna be good for me. This is not good. All right, how much? All right, I believe that was 24 damage. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. That was only seven. The RNG in this game is huge. See, there we go. That was another 21. Missed. Okay, that's good. That's good. They are rather fast as well. If they get to go in early. And yeah, I'm still just basic attacking with loot. There's there's no reason for me to, to use any of his MP just yet. Even though these guys are rather difficult. Probably going to be some of the most difficult enemies that we find around here. Uh, but... There's, there can be even more difficult. Uh, hopefully it just doesn't show up though. 42 more experience points and 118 Mercedes. Just for the record, it's easier for me to take out the Batman and I get a lot more money than that. Sometimes the game just does not agree with me. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you go here, left or right, because once again, it is a box. We just need to get to the other side of it. And here is where we can go. To the end where we can find the stairs leading down once more. So from here, you can take a right and then take another right, head down to the end and you'll find an empty treasure chest. So we're not going that way. We're gonna, going, we're gonna go this way instead where we can encounter a falcon. It does have pointy ears, I'll give it that, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like halfway between a Star Trek Vulcan and like the Greek or the Roman God Vulcan. Yeah, Roman God Vulcan. I had to think about that one. I'm like, is it Roman or is it Greek? That's right, Greek is Hephaestus, so Roman is Vulcan. I get those two confused. And I spent a lot of time in elementary school and junior high studying on those, and I don't know why. Doesn't hit too hard. And you hit on loots, apparently. I was scared for a second there. But Elisa does not hit too hard either. That's a scary thing when that happens. Luckily, Tylon's here to always hit. There's a harder hit. That's more... That's more like what I was expecting. Ugh. This thing is hitting quite hard at the end of it. Hopefully this is now the most difficult thing that we encounter. 32 experience points, and I'm going to open the treasure chest and get 120 Mercedes. Once again, not as good as Batman. All right, we are going to head forward here. Yes, we're still going the right way. I confused myself for a second there. All right. Uh, one away from the end, we can find a cryon. But at this point, if I took one more step forward, I would hit the dead end. There's an empty treasure chest there. And, and a searchlight. I, I, I don't care about the searchlight. Go away. One more step from here and I will encounter another empty treasure chest, which I do not want to open. But if I turn left, there's another fake wall. Game's just full of them today. Uh, we can head to the end where we can find a treasure chest. That explodes, but there's 500 Mercedes, so I'm gonna say it's worth it. Even though I'm starting to question that now. Let's go ahead and, and heal a bit here. Use the Rorogenins, because they are uh, better at this point, because I do want to try to save MP. Oh, this is not, not working out the way that I would like. And then the final Rorogenin on loot. I might have another one around here somewhere. I do. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on Tylon as well. Okay. Scary still, but uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, head back and head to the end of this. Uh, don't worry about the fake wall just for the time being. Open the treasure chest, please don't explode. And I now can pick up searchlights. Uh, we want to follow this path all the way to the end and to the right where we can find another treasure chest. 
this time holding a titanium sword. And skeletons out of nowhere! I'll, I guess I'll take these guys on off screen. As a result of that battle, Meow did get another level. And as a result of getting that level, Meow did get a new spell, which is Bypass for MP to get you out of a dungeon. It is quite useful. Loot's already had it, uh, but we have not used it. I'll be using it today. This is not an easy dungeon. Have I said that before? It's still not easy. All right, let's head back and down the long corridor. And at the end, we will turn right and head through the fake wall. Remember, to the left of here is indeed an empty treasure chest, which I'm not interested in opening. So we're gonna head right instead and take on skeletons. And then we're going to take the first left available to us. And we're gonna follow this path all the way to the end where we will eventually find another treasure chest waiting for us in the corner. Of course, we're gonna open it. 500 Mercedes in there. Nothing too bad, I don't think. We're getting close to the end, so I, I can be a little less concerned about MP, or sorry, HP, also MP. Uh, but if there is a tough enemy at this point, I'm probably gonna run. All right, back to the fork in the road, take a left, followed by another left, and then we'll take this path until we have another choice. You could go forward here and you will encounter an empty treasure chest. So we're just gonna take the left here. And we're gonna head all the way to the end until we find ourselves a locked door. Now I need to take care of healing and drop a save before we head through. All saved and healed, well, healed as necessary. Let's open the door using the dungeon key. Now this is the part where I was thinking maybe I need to do a little level grinding. Let's head through and we can find a corner, a very scary corner. Ah, loot my pupil. You plan to overthrow Le Chic, eh? Then you must pass one final test. Let's duel! And it is boss time. One-on-one -on -one boss time. We only have loots in our party, otherwise this would be an easy fight. Uh, we're up against Tajim. That's what he's referred to in this version. In the Master System version, it was Tarzamal. Tajim's probably better. I believe I called this Tarzamal's cave, uh, but it is indeed Tajim's cave in this version. Uh, there's a very specific strategy to taking him on. Uh, you start with a magic waller. You know what? 13 damage is pretty steep, but we did get the wall up, and that's the important thing. Let's go for wind after that, because it's, it's more important that we don't get hit by his fire and that the wall, the wall blocks that. Go wind go more wind all right 62 we can deal with that go for more wind all right 29 29 the wall's still up but i don't have enough to to put it back up i, I assumed it would have been down by now we have just enough for another fire attack here all right 12 12 health left on Tajim. You really have to pray to the RNG gods on this fight. You do. We have to do 12 damage in basic attacks with loots before Tajim does 74 damage in magic attacks on loots. Let's see what we can do. I mean, you could try to heal, but ultimately uh, Tajim can do more than like 40 damage in a single turn, so you just gotta hope and pray. There's 10. That was only seven. And we did five ourselves. Come on, loot. No, loot. Why? That was only one? He went for like a physical attack there. There we go. That's an attack. Ah, you have grown strong, loot. We have won. If you lose, I should point this out. If you lose, he says that you need stronger training. Uh, loot comes back at full health, but no MP. So it's not like you can just try again. You lose all your MP, and that's the only way you can win this fight. Yes, grown strong loots. I can't teach you anymore. Take this. It's a frad cloak. Frad. Uh, I know it as a frayed cloak. They put an E on the end of that. Or, sorry, frayed mantle in the Master System version. But frad cloak. Like, eh. It will protect your body from harm. Now go, my boy. 
And we are definitely going to equip that immediately on Loot. He needs, he needs it right now. Uh, Loot uh, has 101 defense. But with the upgrade of the Frad Cloak, he now has 136. It's definitely an increase. And that is definitely what you want to see. This is actually Lutz's best armor in the game, the Frad Cloak. We are getting to that point in the game where we're starting to get ultimate stuff. We have it for Lutz now. We have the ultimate cloak, the Frad Cloak. <laughs> Sounds so weird when I say it. Uh, since Lutz is out of MP, it's very lucky that Meow is here to pick up the slack. Let's bypass. I don't usually leave from dungeons, but when I do, it's because I still didn't encounter the toughest enemy in there. I'll just go ahead and say it. It's a red dragon. If you encounter it, I would suggest running. Uh, it has 175 HP, but it does you know, a lot of damage to you anytime you, you can deal with it. Um, I should say that you could also use the flute in case you don't have anything. The soothe flute. That will also get you out of there so what we want to do is head back to Uzo so I am going to take the treacherous journey back I'm kind of scared about this let's head straight up here no 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 he blocked my path damn Vulcan I'm just gonna run why do you block my path no run Seriously? Three times in a row? Three times in a row. I have to fight him now, don't I? I can't do it four times. Now, normally at this point, I just kind of go straight back to Uzo, but that is that is not going to be the case today. I suddenly need to heal everybody, or I might die very quickly. Very, very quickly. Now my flow mover has moved all over the place because I used all my rogenins. Going to have to go back and buy some more. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yep. Seriously. Seriously, whites. You guys aren't even that bad. But I only got two moves in before you started attacking again. Oh no, loot can't move. If only you guys had attacked somebody that actually did damage to you. Great. Uh, Elisa as well. Meow, please finish this off. These guys are are being quite mean to me today. <laughs> At least I didn't encounter a red dragon, but still, I would have ran from it. I would not have fought that. All right, we're gonna head back here. Normally I just go straight to Uzo from there, but that is not going to be the case today. I'm so used to it being on the, the last page. It is not there anymore. All right, let's head back to town. Please, please, please. All right, we made it. I am I am definitely going to heal here, and we will continue on by heading back to Uzo next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Fantasy Star. I've been Dollar Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my lucky-to-be-alive squad of... Elisa, Meow, Tylon, and Loot. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.